Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the class of 2009. So, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished faculty, administrators, friends and family, and of course, the graduate class of 2009. It's indeed a particular honor to stand before you today. This ceremony is actually very special for us. This year, we are celebrating 10 years since the first master program graduation in 1999 in our school. And it's also 10 years since uh, the launch of an IB program. The first master program in Russian university system taught completely in English with obligatory semester abroad with international body of faculty and students. Two years ago, in year 2007, the University of Technology and St. Petersburg University started a new program, unique for Russian Federation and for the history of cooperation between our two countries. Half of the class that is graduated today was admitted by Latinrat University of Technology and the other half by St. Petersburg University and students had an opportunity to allocate their time almost equally between two schools and to benefit from both of them from double network of faculty, students and alumni. Since you entered the school two years ago, master programs actually changed a lot. And most of these changes are directly related to your contribution to the school's life. JSUM became a full member of community of European management schools. Our network of partner schools expanded and now includes leading business schools in Mexico, Brazil, Australia, Singapore, Spain, and other countries. This year, we changed our admission process by getting rid of the traditional management test and introducing obligatory HMAT. And by this move, we actually pioneered not only in Russia, but also in Eastern Europe. Most importantly, we improved our co courses and we expanded the list of available electives taught by faculty from different parts of the world. Today, our Dean Professor Katkala and Associate Dean for Master Program, Professor Volkov, are signing an agreement about launching a new QO degree program with HEC parents. So I think this is a very good excuse and good reason why they can't be with us at this ceremony. And this program, along with its existing QO degree program with Latin London University of Technology, uh, creates unique opportunities for our students. But let me come back from our joint achievements uh, to the comm commencement ceremony. I'm sure you know that commencement originally as a word means beginning. In this case, the beginning of your professional careers. And I know that many of you are nervous about the careers you are about to begin. And you keep questioning yourself if you are good enough as a specialist and if you are competitive on the market. Let me tell you a story here. Once I asked a good friend of mine who used to be an associate professor at our school and then was appointed the deputy minister for economic development, how she actually felt about this completely new job. And she said that she had a three-stage reaction to working in the ministry. Stage number one. I hope nobody actually figures out how stupid I am. Stage two, a few months later. Hey, I am as smart as everyone else. <laughs> and a few months later, finally came stage three. Oh my God, we are in charge. So personally, I think this is a three-stage reaction to new job uh, is quite typical. It's also true for me, and it has been the same uh, no matter where I have worked or studied. And trust me, I guarantee many of you uh, will have similar reaction, no matter where you choose to work. And so, on this happy day, I've got some news for you. You are in charge now. And you are well prepared for that. 
here at the school, you've learned a lot of materials from your professors, including myself, which I assure you, you will forget. <laughs> but what will stay with you? Your ability, which I believe you acquired here, to read and comprehend complex material, to analyze and to evaluate, to listen to your classmates, and to come to joint decisions in your teamwork. Hope you have learned how to think about manageable problems and, most importantly, how to learn. School is something you complete. Life is something you experience. So people will no longer be great in you, and this is good news. But success is defined in many ways, and most of them will come from your own internal sense of what is wrong and what is right for you. When going forward, stay tuned to your values. Be confident of your abilities and be sure in your purpose. I am pretty sure these are key uh, components of your success in life. Plus, one more. And here, let me quote Peter Drucker. Plans are only good intentions unless they immediately degenerate into hard work. We will be proud of you and we will continue to work very hard uh, to make certain that you are always proud of your school. Let me wish you good luck and congratulations to you all. Thank you. <laughs> and now let me introduce a colleague of mine, Professor Veli Marti Veralainen, Professor of the Business School of Laperanto University of Technology and also Vice Rector for Research for the University. Please. Thank you very much, Mr. Weinstein. Um, honored graduates, ladies and gentlemen, Dami Ikaspada. It is my great honor to say a few words for you on the behalf of Lappeenranta University of Technology. So, um, Russian relationship and Russian markets plays very essential role in our university new strategy.